Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long journey, you know. Um, a lot of doubters, a lot of doubt. Um, you know, just. But I wouldn't tra change it for nothing in the world, you know, because my journey made me appreciate this more. You know, my journey makes this feeling surreal to me. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, there was easier routes. Um, yeah, somebody may have to, may didn't have to go through what I had, through what I had to go through. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't trade my journey for nothing in the world because it's it's what sculpted me into who I am. Talk about college days and, and how that prepared you for the big stage here in the NBA. Well, it prepared me a lot. You know, playing at Michigan State, Coach Izzo, we played everywhere, you know, on every big stage you can possibly play on. You know, and um, learning from Coach Izzo, you know, who teaches the game the right way. You know, I think a lot of these kids go to college and don't learn nothing at some of these places, some of these big time schools, you know, but he, he taught me a lot and um, it, it prepared me for the NBA. It had me ready to play in the NBA. Is it hard to like distinguish cocky and, and confident, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's more comical for me because, like you said, any uh, any comment you make obviously will get amplified and and what have you. So, um, you know, it's it is what it is. I'm, people who know me and know what I'm about know that's not kind of I'm not the guy out there talking a big game. It's more what I do on the floor. Um, you know, born and raised in South Jersey, everybody knows. Um, South Jersey, you know, it's got, uh, you know, Philly, Philly in its heart, you know, just because it's, you know, no, really no major cities and uh, all South Jersey fans, you know, are, are related to Philly sports, man. So, you know, getting drafted, you know, 2008 Sacramento and now being here with Golden State, man, every time, you know, you come into this arena, man, it's just real special because I remember just being a fan and being a kid and being all the way in the rafters and now, you know, people are coming to the games to watch me play, man. So it's a surreal um, situation where, uh, you know, God is good and all the hard work and uh, paying off and, and, you know, always telling kids, man, and don't ever let anyone tell you you can't do something in life. Um, you know, hard work and, and the right mindset, uh, anything can happen.